So you're wanting to dive into TikTok, but you're really more comfortable using it on the desktop. Or maybe you just want to be able to do things on desktop in addition to mobile. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate and use TikTok from your desktop. Take action now. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell down below. Now, before we dive into TikTok for desktop, it's important to have some ideas of what kind of videos you should be making. So make sure to go grab my freebie down in the description below. It has 50 video ideas that every business owner should be making. All right, let's head over to the computer. TikTok.com and it's going to load you in. You're going to log in to your account. It's going to the upper hand corner, hit log in. Now, if you do not have an account, you're going to want to sign up here. But since I have an account, I'm just going to sign log in with my phone number. So once you log in, it's going to update based on your preferences. If you want, you can turn on notifications. Um, I do not have the on. I'm using Chrome and that's where that shows up. So let's work through this interface from left to right. So over here we have TikTok. This will always take us back to this homepage. We have the for you page, which is what our news feed essentially is called based on the things that I watch, interact with, search and do. It is tailoring my content to me. For my following, this is the content from people I am choosing to follow who I've hit follow so I can see just their content, not any of the other stuff. For live, this is again pretty self-explanatory. It's everyone on TikTok that is live right now. And what we're able to do is kind of see what everybody is doing. It has the one that's recommending to me the most uh, and you just kind of work through and see who is live and so on and so forth. So back to the homepage. So now we have our popular topics. So popular topics allow for us to kind of see content based on things that we're interested in. Like maybe we want to watch some comedy. Maybe we want to watch gaming. Maybe we want to check out some delicious food. So these are all going to be content based around those specific things. And the reason that we know that they're food is because these accounts have said that they're food. <laughs> so we know what's happening here. We know what the content is. The algorithm picks up pretty well. We have dance again if you want to dance and stuff it's always really fun to see all those as well so then we have suggested accounts so now it's suggesting like you know based on the things that you like here are some content creators that you might also want to check out as well and then you know you can hit the file so let's let's show it's like to follow somebody we're going to hit follow and then we can know that that person we're going to see their content going forward as you can see we can see that rock is following three he has 48.1 million followers we can see his description here which is ceo of rock talk and then you have his link tree to his description we can see the things that he has liked uh, so that it's set to private and then we can see his videos as well, right? So based on suggested accounts, we can kind of see what other people have done as well. So while we keep scrolling down here on the far left hand side, we have following accounts. So these are accounts I am already following their content so I can see like what they're creating. Like I said, we have a lot of really great um, examples of the kind of content that we want to have. As we keep scrolling down, we have discover. So these are going to be things that are trending right now, things that are popular, things that are uh, performing really well. So we can see like when I'm, uh, when I'm older, we can kind of see what these different ones are. We can just kind of click on one and see what it says. This is what I look like when I was younger. This is what I look like when I'm older. And how we know this is part of this trend is it has this hashtag over here. So it's a fun little trend to tap into. Let's check out a music trend. Again, La Familia Madrigal uh, is a song based on the new movie um, that's come out at the time of this recording called Encanto. And it has all of these different um, things. Now this is in Spanish, which and Kato is based on a company in Colombia. What's really nice about trading topics is that they are multicultural, so you can see them in different languages and com different communities from around the world. We can see that this is a music file that has been used, and we can kind of see, this shows us how many videos have been made about this topic specifically. Again, to go to them, like them, them uh, Thundercats, again, how many videos have been used with this specific sound by an association. So again, up here at the top, so what we have over here, we have our video uploads. This is where we can upload a video to TikTok. And so let's go over this. I'm going to select a file because I do have one to upload as it so happens. All right, and I can upload this and I can put my caption in. Okay, and then we're gonna add in like, always had your hashtags in. And then we can kind of like see if we select them. If they're not pink, they haven't been selected and associated with the appropriate hashtag. So make sure that you are doing that. Okay, gotta make sure you select them. Then we have our cover. So we just we slide it around to see, like, are we in the right place? This is what we're going to see as the cover of our profile picture for this video on our profile. So then we have public here. So public is everyone can see it. Friends can see it, or private is like um, where only a few people can see it. 
What's nice about private is that it kind of lets you create your content ahead of time. You can publish it to public. It allows you to have like a way almost to schedule your content. So you create ahead, then you just have to go into manually set it from private to public. It's a fun little, little tip. Uh, run a copyright check. If you want to make sure that you are not infringing on any copyrights, you can go onto that and, and check that out. And then you can have discard or you can post it. And I'm going to choose to post it. Now here's the thing that's important to remember about TikTok when you're uploading from desktop. You cannot create a TikTok. Like I can't go tap into a trending audio and use the, the audio to make my own TikTok. I cannot do that. I can only post pre-created content and engage in content that's happening. So this was our, our TikTok that we had created. I had to reply to comments on TikTok and, and it kind of is posting up here. I created this ahead of time. I have it as an original sound and all this kind of good stuff. And I've made sure to include my hashtags in here. If I want to share this somewhere, I can share it on these different platforms where I can copy the link and I can have it uh, send like someone to watch directly. All right, so let's talk about messaging for a second. Messaging actually doesn't really work very well from the desktop app and they want you to go download the app as is, like I said, I'm trying to message with this person and I can't do it because it's not supported. So try to keep messaging in the app. All right, let's go into our inbox. So our inbox is not a messaging inbox like you would think. So this allows for us to see like notification. What is it that's happening right now? on my TikTok and the things I'm interested in. So in the past month, these are people that have commented and liked, these are people that have chosen to follow me. I can see the things that I have liked and other people have liked. I can see the comments that people have left me. I can see mentions that people have had. I can see what my followers are doing, um, who's been following me and so forth. So that's what we do up here with our notification inbox. And again, to go to our profile, we just click our picture in the right hand corner and we hit view profile. Then we have get coins. I encourage you not to worry about that right now. Go to our settings. Settings is great for allowing us to set our privacy and what we need to, to do. Not super complicated in this part. It's pretty basic because it runs very much like how the app does. Set our language, send feedback, keyboard shortcuts, which allows for us to kind of like use our keyboard to na make navigations and you can like change them and stuff like that. And then you can log out if that's what you want to do. So this is a great way for you to consume TikTok from your desktop if you don't want to be on your phone for some reason, you don't have it. it, allows you to stay connected and watch this content consistently. All right, so now if you're wanting to know more about what you can do with TikTok and how you can use it for your business, I want you to start watching this video right here. And watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.